Welcome to the Wealth Wise Show. I'm your host, the Wise Investor. Join me today as we discuss many different financial tools that can be utilized in your everyday financial life. Uh, we're, we discuss all sorts of things from financial literacy, financial education, um, just things and tips and tricks that you can utilize in your uh, financial journey. So to get started, just want to um, have this disclaimer. This information is provided as general information and is not intended to be any specific in financial or tax guidance. Before you make any financial decisions regarding your personal finance situation, you should consult a financial or tax professional to discuss your individual circumstances objectives. So keep in mind guys, this is for educational purposes only. This is not meant to be uh, for you to use as your personal financial um, advice. So I'm not your financial advisor. Uh, unless you are my client, then thank you for listening. Um, so here we go for today's episode of the Wealthwise Show. All right, guys. So today's episode is a, a specific episode, uh, more tailored to those in my area. But does it mean if you're not from Florida, where I am located, uh, you cannot utilize some of the information um, that I'm going to be giving out today? Um, so, you know, this is going to be, like I said, tailored to people in my area, in particular, people who work for the government, the Florida government. Uh, so anyone who is a state worker, uh, anything like that. So this is really focused for you guys. Uh, more of a niche, you know, topic for today. But some of the things I talk about, it's going to be uh, you might can tailor it to fit your your financial needs. But keep in mind, guys, this is for imp- informational purposes only. I know you heard it in the intro, but I got to say it again. Uh, this is not meant to be financial advice because um, I don't give a financial advice over the Internet unless you're a client of mine. Um, and thank you for listening if you are. So uh, this is not financial advice for you. Just come talk to me, text me, uh, email me, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk about this thing called drop. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because I, I've noticed over the last few weeks, I've been getting a lot more questions about it with people who do work for the state of Florida. Uh, and I know um, some other states have a state pension for their employees. Uh, and so this particular um, tool, uh, is for the pension people who participate in the pension for the Florida, um, the Florida pension. So drop, uh, pretty much stands for deferred retirement option program. So it is a option. If you chose the pension plan instead of investment plan for, um, your, if you're part of the Florida retirement system, FRS, um, and you know, the reason I want to make this, uh, a more of a broad, like put this on a broad level with an actual pocket episode is so that way people who, you know, are coming into the floor retirement system, they can kind of get a little idea of what they're getting themselves into. And it's important too, because our governor, he just signed, um, a new law that changes the floor retirement system. Um, and in particular drop. So, and the changes are, are pretty good. Uh, so don't think the changes, you know, not all changes bad. Um, but the changes are pretty good. And a lot of people don't understand what these changes are and what it means for them for retirement. So, um, pretty much if you are thinking about entering in the pension plan, if you're part of the Florida retirement system, um, drop is a great opportunity if that fits your personal retirement plan. Now, if you have a financial advisor, talk to them. They can help you decide which one is better for you. If you need a financial advisor, you know, talk to, you know, do your research to find someone who can fit your goals and needs. Uh, so basically all it is, is a, think of it as like a separate, 
uh, account, essentially. So they take a portion of, you know, your your pension, essentially, a portion of your retirement funds, and they put them in a separate account. Think of it like a trust fund account. And that account grows uh, tax deferred. And for those who don't know what tax deferred means is you don't pay taxes now, you pay taxes later. So you're pushing the taxes back to a later date. Um, so basically, you know, it's a voluntary program, so you don't have to do it. But if you do do it, uh, you get a um, a yearly uh, percentage rate for return. Um, so I think it was 1.3. Uh, not too, or I, I should say not too long ago because it really wasn't that long ago. Uh, 1.3 before the bill was signed, and now it's up to 4%. So, what does that mean for you if you're participating? Well, you just got to increase. So, let's say you have um, $100,000 in your drop account, and you're earning 1.3. So, if we do the math on that, you're looking at a total of 1300 bucks. So, you know, that's the yearly return you'll be getting. But now that same $100,000, if you earn up to 4%, now that's $4,000. So you're, you're looking at a, do the math really quick, a $2,700 increase. So that's not terrible at all. That's pretty decent. So you get that every year um, for a certain period of time. So how long can you hold on to keep your basically retirement, some of your retirement funds into this um, drop account? Well, it used to be um, it was five years. The maximum time for, you know, people who were eligible to participate in drop, you know, was five years and five years is a long time. But now it's increased to eight years. And those who might say, well, how did I get an extension? You know, well, you talk to your employer and you can ask them, ask them for, you know, um, an extension. So typically uh, you will have to complete a form DP dash X or DP dash EXT. Um, and you can talk to your employer and then once they you fill that proper form out and they approve it, you know, they, then you get an extension. Um, so the answer to that question number one and question number two would be, well, how much can I expect to get? Well, 4%. Uh, and it's compound monthly um, for your, your, you know, your current uh, drop benefits. So that's great because now you do get a little bit more of an increase um and you know get granted inflation is higher than four percent currently at the moment i believe uh don't quote me on that i'm in front of my computer so i can double check but yes so inflation is you know still running rampant at the moment um so you're looking at you know still well right now inflation is 4.05 uh so that's not terrible so you're earning on par with, you know, inflation. So that's still pretty decent um, because now when, you, you know, as you get older and you get ready for retirement, you know, your buying par purchasing power is not diminished um, by a lot. So that's that's great news if you're participating. Now, keep in mind, if you have an advisor, talk to them because it's like this is for informational purposes only. If you have an advisor, talk to them and Tell them your, de you know, give them the details of your life and your retirement, what you want for retirement. And they can tell you, hey, in the investment plan for the floor retirement system or the pension plan, whichever one is best for you. You got to I can't tell you that because I don't know you. And you don't know me. <laughs> oh, you're listening to me over the phone uh, or on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening to me at. So I don't know you. So I don't know your your detailed needs that you'll need for retirement. Unless I do know you, then talk to me after you're done listening to this. But um, so who's eligible to participate and drop? Because I did say those who are eligible can get that extension. 
So if you're in the FRS pension plan or the teacher's retirement system. So if you're in either, either of those, like I said, then you can participate and and drop. Um, and if you're not any of those things, well, then, you know, <laughs> you're not eligible. Uh, if you retired from the, the pension plan, um, if you're a member or retiree of the pension plan, uh, you know, things like that, you know, so talk to your employer uh, to see if you're eligible and talk to your financial advisor to see which one is best. Um, so how drop works is a lot of you, if you're in drop, then you know how to get in. But if you're not in drop, how do you get into drop? So basically, uh, like I said, you need to be a part of the um, Florida Retirement Pension Plan, uh, the teacher's retirement system, uh, or the state and county officers and employee retirement system. Um, you know, and you have to have reached normal retirement age or date. Um, and then you, you know, provide an election to participate um, within the appropriate time. So if you, let's say you read your retirement age or date, your normal retirement age or date, you can elect to enter uh, drop. And what, what what that does is, you know, as you continue the work, a part of your, your pension is being used, like I said, in that trust fund to grow. Or at a, at now, the date is 2020 uh, or the year 2023. So if you're listening to this and it's 2026 and they change the laws, well, this is old. But now you can be earning 4%. So that is great. Um, and like I said, you pretty much talk to um, your your advisors to determine which one is better for you, the retirement or the investment plan or the pension plan, because they all have their benefits uh, and their cons depending on your personal situation. Um, so now that we talked about some of the changes um, for like, you know, the extending and the percentage rate, there were some other changes like the health insurance uh, subsidy increase that they increased that um, by 50% um, from $5 to $7.50 for each uh, uh, for each year of creditable service. So, you know, if you have your own individual like insurance, uh, private insurance, well, now they instead of going from $150 uh, you know, they're going to two hundred um, and twenty five dollars. And so that is great if, you know, the cost insurance, the cost of insurance has gone up a little bit <laughs> or a lot. Uh, so this is great for those who, you know, are retiring and you need that additional income so you can pay for your health insurance. Um, so. If you're a special risk class, uh, your retirement, your normal retirement date um, ha has changed. So if you uh, was enrolled on or after July 1st, uh, 2011, uh, it would change uh, to 25 years of uh, credible service or 55 or age 55, whichever is earlier. So, you know, for those who have a special risk class, you know, people who risk their lives for us here in the state of Florida. Uh, we greatly appreciate you. Um, so now you do get an ex extra benefit on top of um, your drop uh, pension increase. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty short and sweet video, or I say video, short and sweet uh, podcast. There is no video, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna do audio only for a while. Um, and this is coming out on a Tuesday. Uh, the fourth. So, you know, uh, things, you know, you are going to get two episodes. So for those of you who are not in the state of Florida and this has nothing to do with you, don't worry. There is an episode coming Friday. Uh, that's going to be for the whole country or the world, whoever, if you're, you know, doesn't matter. Right? I'm not trying to be biased. Um, and if you are in the Florida retirement system and you want to know more, you know, like I said, there's, 
you can call the FRS. I know a lot of times that can be a little difficult, uh, but talk to your financial advisor. Our job is to, especially if you are planning for retirement, our job is to make your lives a lot easier and get you from your current uh, state of living to your goal, ideal state of living, uh, because you deserve it. You worked hard, you put in the years, you put in the time, you, you dealt with so much. Uh, and you know, it's nice to have something that can be tax referred and accumulate tax referred and, you know, be a little nest egg for you guys. Um, so our jobs as advisors and fiduciaries is to make sure you guys get to where you are now to where you want to be. So please feel free if you're listening to this and you're in the state of Florida, um, reach out to your advisor. If you have one, if you don't have one you know, find an advisor, um, you know, you can, they're everywhere. Um, so yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, if you love this episode, feel free to five star it, thumbs up, whatever, uh, platform you're on, make sure, you know, uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, that'd be nice. Uh, and keep in mind guys, this is, like I said, for information purposes only, uh, not financial advice. Um, and if you have any questions or any topics you'd like me to discuss, feel free to shoot me a message on, um, the Wellfire show, Instagram, uh, or on our Facebook page, the Wellfire show. Um, and, you know, see if we can, uh, what we can do to make this podcast even better. So that's going to be it guys. I appreciate you listening. Um, and you know, Till next time, stay with eyes. Investment advisory and financial planning services offered through Simplicity Wealth and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Sub advisory services are provided by Simplicity Solutions, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Any insurance, consulting, and education services offered through The Wi-Fi Show. The Wi-Fi Show is not affiliated with Simplicity Wealth and Simplicity Solutions.